Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Anthony. Like this video if you guys are excited for 1.14. But anyways, today I'm going to be bringing you guys 15 changes that you might not have noticed in the Minecraft 1.14 update. Now, if you guys do enjoy today's video as always, then be sure to give this video a like rating. Now, if this video is able to hit over 5,000 likes, then I will upload another 1.14 video tomorrow as there is a new snapshot coming out. Real quick guys, before the video starts, this December I will be giving away a bunch of gift codes for Minecraft accounts for both Java Edition and Bedrock Edition. Now if you want to keep up to date with the giveaway info, then be sure to follow me on Twitter in the description below. But anyways guys, enough of me rambling, let's go ahead and get straight into today's video about 1.14. I hope you guys enjoy it. Pillager outposts are a large tower-like structure that are of course in inhabited by the new pillager mob. I mean, just look at these guys. They have got their crossbows equipped. They are guarding this place with their life. Not only that, but they are horrible enough to pretty much trap an iron golem in a cage right here. I mean, just look at him. He looks so sad. Now, these pillager outposts were added in the 18W47A snapshot, but a slight change has been made to them in 47B. Okay, guys, so in the 47A snapshot, when the pillager outposts were added, a significant amount of pillagers would spawn around the structure, making it quite a challenge for some players. Some would argue too much of a challenge. So in the 47B snapshot, a slight change was made to where there would be a reduced amount of pillagers spawning around the pillager outposts. So yeah, I guess it's quite a good change to be honest because there are quite a few of these outposts that generate in your Minecraft world and you don't want to constantly encounter pillagers. It would just be annoying. A very minor but awesome change that has been made in the 1.4 update is a change that has been made to the witch hut. Now, with the addition of cats in this update, in every witch hut you find, you will actually find a black cat in here as well, as well as the witch as well, but we don't care about the witch. Sorry, witch! But um, yeah, you will find a black cat in every witch hut that you find. Uh, just a very minor change, but I think it's very fitting and very appropriate as well for the witch hut. Okay, guys, so I'm sure some of you are aware that there is a feature within Minecraft where a creeper will drop a music disc upon death when they are killed by a skeleton. Well, a nifty little change has been made in 1.14, and I will show you guys that right now. Okay, guys. Guys, so in 1.14, in addition to the skeleton being able to make a creeper drop a disc, the snowy counterpart, the stray, is also able to make a creeper drop a music disc. So if we just wait for the stray to kill the creeper while I kill this zombie, you'll notice that in a second, he will drop a music disc right here. And there you go. Minecraft developer Dinnerbone has added a secret feature in the latest snapshot for 1.14, which is 18W47B, and have you guys noticed it yet? Well, it's the new title screen, because as you can see, we no longer have the update aquatic background. We now have a village-themed background, which is to go with the village and pillage theme, which I think looks really awesome. A very minor change has been made to carpets in the 1.14 update, and I'm going to show you guys that right now. So, we all know that you are simply able to craft carpets by just simply placing two wool in the crafting table like so. You can craft the corresponding carpet colour with the corresponding wall, but an additional change has been made in 1.14 where you can surround the crafting grid with eight white carpet and put any dye colour of your choice in the centre and you can get more carpet like that, so that's a pretty cool change if I'm honest. A similar change has been made to glass panes in regards to crafting the stained variant of glass panes in 1.14 as before 1.14 to get stained glass panes you would have to firstly get some regular glass put it in the crafting table like so, and then put any die of your choice in the middle to get magenta stained glass, and then you would have to craft the stained glass pane variant like so. 
But in 1.14, you can simply just put glass panes all the way around the crafting grid and then put any die of your choice in the middle. And there you go, you'll get the uh, stained glass pane variant, which I think is a very positive and good change in 1.14. So right now I am playing on 1.13 and to craft nether brick fences in 1.13 you just simply need to use six nether brick blocks right here. In the 1.14 update however a slight change has been made to the nether brick fence crafting recipe as they are now crafted with four regular nether brick blocks right here and then in the center you have two regular nether bricks and there you go you'll be able to craft nether brick fences if you try to craft nether brick fences with the old crafting recipe in 1.14 by using six nether brick blocks right here you will instead get nether brick walls which are a new type of wall that were added in 1.14 for the nether bricks so yeah if you use the old recipe you'll get nether brick walls instead it's trivia time trivia time is the part of the video where you guys will show me your minecraft knowledge by me asking you a random minecraft fact question the crossbow was added in minecraft alpha back in 2010 but was shortly removed true or false the answer for the trivia time question will be found on my twitter so be sure to follow me on twitter in the description okay guys so right now i'm playing on version 1.13 and you will notice that i've got some stone in my hands so if we go up to the crafting bench and put three stone along the uh, grid right here you'll notice that i create some stone slabs now this has all changed in 1.14 and i'll show you what i mean in the 1.14 update however you will notice that if you try to craft the smooth stone slab with regular stone right here you will instead just get a regular stone slab. Now that is because regular stone slabs were added in 1.14. So the recipe has basically been replaced. Now if we go up to the furnace right here, you'll notice that I am smelting some stone to get some smooth stone. You'll see that when I go to use the smooth stone instead, I will get the regular smooth stone slabs. So they are a little bit more time consuming to craft in this uh, update. But uh, yeah, this is due to the fact that regular stone slabs have been added. The next change that is being made in the 1.14 update is a change to where ocelots and cats are being split into two different mobs. Cats will spawn as strays in NPC villages, as you can see, and you can simply tame them by using raw cod right here. Ocelots will continue to spawn in jungle biomes, as you can see, but you can no longer tame them as pets you can however feed them raw cod to trust you so they don't run away as much but uh yeah in 1.14 you can no longer tame them you can only have cats as pets the phantom is a hostile mob that was added in the 1.13 update aquatic and they will attack the player if they have not slept in their bed for a few minecraft days now in the 1.14 update, a small little change has been added to where you can pretty much counter the phantom a little bit because phantoms are actually scared of cats and you'll see that they actively, you know, try to escape when a cat is in the vicinity. So if I spawn in some phantoms and some cats, you'll see that the phantoms are just actively trying to get away and the cats are just trying to, you know, scare the phantoms away as well. So yeah, that's quite a nifty little change. In the 1.14 update, there is a very small little change that has been made to the leaves where if you destroy the leaves there is a very small chance that you will get a drop of zero to two sticks so i've placed a bunch of leaves right here let's go ahead and destroy them all and see if i get any sticks drop from them now as you can see i'm destroying them i'm not getting too lucky right now which is a bit annoying oh there we go i got a stick Wow, I actually got one. I've tried to do this clip like five times and I finally got a stick. But anyways, everybody, that just about concludes today's video. About 15 minor changes that were made in the 1.14 update, everybody. I really hope you all enjoyed the video and or found it informative. Now, as I said at the start of the video, there is a 1.14 snapshot coming out tomorrow. So if you guys want to see a video about it, then be sure to give this video a like rating. I also mentioned at the start that in December, 
remember, I will be giving away some gift codes for Minecraft accounts for both Java Edition and Bedrock Edition, so if you want to keep up to date with the giveaway information, then be sure to follow me on Twitter in the description below. But anyways, guys, I am going to go now, so thank you all so much for watching the video. If you want to see more videos from me, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. But uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next one. Goodbye! I am hungry after that video, oh my god.